ho, ho. Darn it, wrong holiday. Happy Halloween, guys. What is going on, you guys? It's Jack here. Today, I'm gonna be telling you some stories about when I trick-or-treated and how scared I got on Halloween and stuff like that over the years. And it is very, very scary. Also cringy, but um, yeah. Uh, definitely leave in the comments real quick what you're gonna be for Halloween or what you did. Um, I'm gonna be this for Halloween, and sadly, it's not a mask, and I can never take it off. Okay, anyway, guys, so the first story I can think about when I was younger, surprisingly, like, I'm, f I'm freaking old now, like, seriously, I'm, like, ancient, was when I went trick-or-treating, uh, this one, I was, like, seven, I think, I went trick-or-treating, literally, there was no lights on. So imagine it being, you know, pitch black. Like, I'm not talking about little light. I mean, no lights whatsoever in the whole development. I don't know why, but people were giving out candy, but they had no lights on. Like, I don't know why, what happened. I was, maybe I was too young or something, but there was no lights on. So I remember my mom or whoever was taking me trick-or-treating had their cell phone light. So it was just like a eerie, like light, like you're in a scary movie and you have to like shine the light and then you turn around and something's behind you. You know what I mean? Yeah, I hope you do. So I went as Angry Bird. So I had like an Angry Bird mask. I put it on and people were, people thought I looked better because you know, this, ew. And it was just a great costume. You could just put it on and you, you know, that's, that's it. And there's another time where I was a pirate. I had a hook. I had a eye patch, had all that good stuff. And I remember I was a cowboy once. I had like a, uh, not a bandana. I had it like something, I don't know what it's called that cowboys have around their neck, but that's that's tr that's true. I had like this stick with the pony on it, like a pony or horse or whatever it was, a stallion. And I just walked around, and I was Pac-Man one Halloween. It was great. Um, I'm too old to trick or treat now, and plus, you know, moving, <laughs> you know, leaving the couch. But um, no, uh, I, I don't. It doesn't interest me, honestly. I think it's more worth it to go out to the dollar store or something and get like a buttload of candy. And yes, I said buttload. <laughs> Yeah, so that's that's what I do. Uh, that's what I'm doing this Halloween. I'm sorry I haven't posted in a while. Um, a lot of stuff keep you know a lot of stuff's happened. But you know what, stuff happens. Uh, I wonder what you guys are doing for Halloween. Hope you guys are having fun. I I am too, but I'm just I'm just, I'm just chilling honestly. Uh, I got a new tripod just to tell you guys. Um, another story I can think of uh, was when. I was coming home from something. No, wait. Oh, yeah. I, I was going to trick-or-treating on somebody's yard, and they had one of those um, those electronic scare things, like when you hit, like, a, it's, it's, it's censored. Like, it's whatever. When you Once you step on a certain part of their lawn or whatever, like, a, something on a string, like a spider, came like this, and it, like, like say this is me, it went, like, shoo, like, right in front of me. Like, it was like a like a electronic thing it scared me so bad i like ran away i was like i'm not trick-or-treating ever again then the next year you know i ended up doing it again because you know i was like six or seven so I, short term memory same thing now but still you know how kids are uh so uh another year i remember uh i got a lot of candy I remember it was, I never, when I was little, I never used to eat the candy that I used to go trick-or-treating for because it would be like a reward, like a trophy. I would keep it, like, as in a sense that I did it. I was an accomplishment. So I never would eat it. So, so I would, my mom and my parents, and they would be like, why aren't you eating it? I'm like, because I worked hard for this. And it's like, I was literally just walking around asking for candy. So it's not really like you're working hard, but you're moving. So, uh. Yeah, um, just want to tell you, uh, next video, or instead of doing a food review, uh, I'm going to be doing a mukbang, which you s eat and you talk to the camera. I'm going to try it out, talk to you guys, and I think that could be a new thing. I could do that probably once a week, uh, going through new schedule changes and stuff, uh, but I know what I'm doing now. I finally have my schedule under control, and... Um, Still, ask questions. Next video, I promise, I'm going to do a Snapchat Q&A. So definitely send Snapchat questions. And I think that you are watching this and you don't do it. Well, try to ask the questions and I'll definitely feature you. I already have a couple, but uh, it's always great to have more. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in my other videos.